Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Everything the land touches is fish! <laughs> we pray yeah. to the goth dummy mommy. Hello everybody, my name's Mayhem! I'm Jinsu. I'm Duke. And today we're back with another episode of Bloodborne. But not just any episode of Bloodborne. This is the finale. Maybe. We're, we're, no, no. Just like what we did. <laughs> just like what we did with the Ludwig fight. This boss and the, the next one are the last two bosses of the game. And whether the it's penultimate or and ultimate. The next one. And the next and the next one. one. Yeah, wait, Jinzu, whether it's uh, penultimate or ultimate, it's oh, ultimate. Oh, <laughs> you wasted that! I wasn't oh. going to use it. I wasn't going to use it anyway. Okay, okay. Look okay. at that. Look at that. Look at that thing look over at, there. Look at that thing. I can't even tell what I'm looking at. It's okay. Because you're about to you go, see... you got to um, get a real nice close-up of it. This is the final boss of the DLC. I think I've gotten numb. Let's see this. You <laughs> see that guy over there get absolutely bodied. Oh, look, it's a beached whale. I, I, you wish it were. It's not a whale. Oh, look, it's a beached condom. That's no moon. You wish it was. <laughs> it's a fish. It's a fish! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to life! Oh, that's sick looking. Welcome to life, little buddy. Oh, it's a boy! <laughs> oh, I'm foul. gonna name you Gertrude. <laughs> oh, that's foul. Oh, he's already walking! What's that? Oh. On your hand, little guy? Little guy? Little buddy? Guys, check it out. Tumorous Horror's first steps. Oh, he likes the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cry, baby. The Orphan of Koss. Uh, oh, well. That was Koss. That right there, that thing that he came uh, out of. A face that not even a baby could love. Not even, sorry, mother. <laughs> the baby would cry. Right, right, right. right. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's cool. No. Koss is an old one. No. A great one, great one. Uh, yeah. Great one. That was the term. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn this down, I just realized. Yeah, it's a little loud. <laughs> and he's a little wild boy. But yeah, Koss is a, is a great one. And this is a, it, the reason why it's called the Orphan of Koss is because, obviously, Koss is now dead. And because the people of Bergenworth, they kind of fucked her up. The people of Bergenworth. And now everything is fish because of that. Jesus, you're doing really good. <laughs> oh, that's what I say. <laughs> yeah, don't give them compliments. And the whole thing about Koss... Fuck. Well, about the orphan I'm is that here? Ooh. Ooh. oh this thing oh do you want to know what his weapon is well it's humor yeah <laughs> what did I stand, though? oh I didn't even see you just gonna this oh. is the this is regarded as one of the hardest bosses of the game like even harder than Lady Maria this guy was really annoying uh, uh. Cause he can just do a lot of damage, and then he evolves. There's a fight. Yeah, the oh. second phase. Ow, you got wings now. He's gonna throw lots of shit at me. So phase two. He fights like Ow. there's Dead. a <laughs> there's a there's a certain boss that he fights like with um like the machete sort of thing that he's using, like the tumor that looks like a machete. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, I got to realize recently, the uh, mayhem. Yeah. Uh, we've been watching it together, Undead and Luck. Yeah. Uh, more than likely, a lot of the of the enemies in the uh, game in the show. Yeah. Are possibly inspired by stuff like the From Software games. Hell yeah. Because they all have phase twos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I mean, you saw that with Spoil, where he evolved and suddenly was like more humanoid, but also way deadlier. And he just called down lightning. Evolving again. Now. Oh my god, that did so much. So it's technically like a, like a phase three. Uh, the lightning edition. The, there are some yes. bosses that technically have like uh, a phase three. Like and Maria. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead? I'm a gamer. I'm good. <laughs> uh, that move hurts. Uh, uh, 
I'm gonna spoil it for you, Jinsu. All moves hurt. <laughs> I got a paper cut once, it hurt. Ooh. So yeah, everything hurts. Now imagine the paper cut and you just do like a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then after health is gone. Imagine the paper cut is you getting punched by Goku. Oh. <laughs> no! The attack right before the big attack puts you in enough stun to get hit by the last attack. Oh, you were doing so good! Could you imagine if you first tried that? <laughs> nope. That's not gonna fucking happen. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, the notes are... It's good, just slabby sings. But don't give up. Time for co-opters. <laughs> is, it, is it better to do it like this or uh, lit up? It's all up to how Jinzu uh, plays. I, I think it does more damage when I have it like this. And then I do the thrust attack. Okay. Solving is effective. Here's <laughs> my note. I put a note down. Terrible foe waits ahead, but take a step forward. I put a note down. What Where's did my it, note? What did it say? Probably won't show it because it's like the same account. You better but have said subscribe to the green villains. I said... <laughs> Oh, and now it's no mercy for infants. Was it this? No, no, it wasn't this. Was it akin to that? Nightmares, where's it? Wait, hate. You're in the know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and now, every time we go in, the orphan is awake. Yeah. Oh. He's just standing there, menacingly. I find it funny that the we, moon. we can't even really. We can't even really enjoy the music all that much because of the fact that he's so loud. No, there's not really I can, music. I can adjust his voice. Oh my god, they hit me still. Like what we did with Dragon Quest, and now yeah. we have a lot more... <laughs> now we're easily able to enjoy the dialogue. Yeah, that's the thing. We did the opposite for <laughs> Dragon Quest. Because Jinzo really likes the music, and he really likes showing off the music. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't fault him for it. Yeah. <laughs> And it's always oh. kind of funny when you guys uh, tell me, like, oh, you're going to be so freaked out by this. Oh, I'm dead. Then... I'm not dead? No, because I, I I was actually going to bring it up, Duke, that it's like, I unfortunately don't know too much of the context, so I can't give exactly one-to-one -one what it is. Basically, Koss is... The, 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 the great one that's oh. dead over there is actually the whole reason for everything. Okay. <laughs> the nightmare is made because of, of this great one. Okay. And then one of, the, and then Miyazaki was just like, "Wait, I want to make a hard game." <laughs> I mean, Armored Core was already pretty fucking hard. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Always yeah. I want to make a hard medieval game. I really like Berserk. <laughs> I really like Berserk. I want to make my own Berserk. Yeah. It is interesting how this one focuses more on the moon instead of the eclipse. I like realize it, now why it's so underwhelming for me. Why? As well. Why? He sounds like a Tom and Jerry character. Oh, my God. oh, absolutely wrecked. You hear some of those screams and how that's just Tom and Jerry, right? It's, yeah. I mean, if you look at it, less than I was expecting. Mm, really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Don't okay, know. try number 12. Try number 12 or 17 or 32. I lost count. It's oh. <laughs> because this audio could be put over anything. It don't matter. <laughs> oh. This audio could be put over anything. Here's a fish dancing. It's just literally just like a completely different game. <laughs> Here is a cow dancing. No, he puts it over um the Bloodborne cart. Bloodborne <laughs> cart. <laughs> is child is Orphan of Cost uh, one of the player playable characters? I do not know. He should be. I, be know, I know Garen is. <laughs> He's just on the wheelchair. Did you Ooh. say playable? What? A yeah. Bloodborne cart, like Mario Kart. There's, there's a Bloodborne. It's obviously cart a fan game. game. It's dead in the water. Sony killed it. Uh, yeah. That, they, 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 can, got, they got they said, rebranded to something else. Yeah, they, they said you can still make this game. You just can't use anything Bloodborne related, and they're just like, eh. Rename it to From Cartware. From Cartware. <laughs> From Cartware. <laughs> like a philosophical caveman. Yeah. Oh, this music's amazing. It's really good. I love I love it when final bosses of things just have this divine music that goes with it. I think it's a given trait when it comes down to it of making divine music for something as like a final boss gives it a true air of this is it. This is the max. <laughs> this, 
this is the point that you can go, I'm gonna be better than that thing, and everybody goes, what? Like, we, we saw that with, uh, when we were watching, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, oh, and we got the Maharaga okay, fight. On you. <laughs> okay. On you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> can you parry him? No. Oh my god, really? No, you can't parry him. Otherwise, it, I'd that, be parrying him. <laughs> yes. it, something kind of cool. It's actually mentioned in the show that um, there's a there was a time when before obviously all the massive weapons they had to use uh, blades to fight kaiju. Yeah. And so the small ones obviously were plenty easy compared to the big ones, which would cause massive disasters. Yeah. Oh. Big electric attack. Yep. Big electric attack. So map it up. Map it up. Map it up. Perfect. There you go. And he's gonna be. And he's gonna be tweaking out in a second. Do you have your meds for him? <laughs> huh. I like how they took, you know, that, that Did you common... give him his usual meds for his, uh, you know, insanity? No, I gave him Fent. Nah. See him fucking doing the I wanted head to see. down. I wanted to see. <laughs> I keep seeing videos like that and just like, oh, uh, come on. what? Uh, what was it? Um. Uh, Selling Goku. Goku, did you just give him a sensu bean? Nah, that was Fent. <laughs> did you just see him? But um, I do, uh, I do <laughs> like how with the, with this boss, the Orphan of Cause, they definitely took it up to 100. That common thought about children, about babies when they first are born, they look like old men. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. Did it again. Oh, he's, and there he is. Oh. There you go. But that, he's calling out to his mother, and his mother is trying uh, to help. My brother right. apparently looked like a, um, uh, one of those rubber chickens. <laughs> that, that's pretty fun. Well, actually, he had two phases. Oh he had, uh, he was like a, he was like a, uh, from Software Boss. He had two phases. Beak and everything? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Oh. <laughs> Basically, he, oh, had oh. he had the Die. Yeah! yeah! Hell yeah! 20 times! There you go! <laughs> there you, that's, that's very good. Cost, Cost Parasite. Parasite. Oh, yeah. Do y'all want to know what that is? It's a tasty sure. treat! Oh, is that his arm? Yep. Where? where? Oh. Oh, yeah. It's there. <laughs> what? You Do you not have enough insight to see it? It only requires 20 RK. <laughs> and, and you have it. What if you trick it? Oh, right, right, right. Ah, I'm a sp- huh? oh. That is hilarious. Huh? Where is it? No, it should be like a whole ass arm. <laughs> We've glitched the game. <laughs> I guess you could say we've been disarmed. Disarmed. Wait, I want to read it. I want to read it. I want to read it. There you go for a great short of just us not having the arm. <laughs> when the carcass of Koss washed upon the co up upon the coast, the its insides sucks. were teeming with tiny parasites unlike any found in humans. This atypical weapon can only be clasped tight and swung, but a Koss parasite is said to be said to stimulate phantasms inhabiting a lumen wood. Oh, so it's the parasites that are on the great ones. Interesting. Also, you still can't use it. Weird. Anyways. Can you hit something with it? Probably, probably later. Um, yeah, we'll but see. Say hello maybe to Koss. Maybe I have to use it as a gun. Maybe I have to use nope, it as a gun. It's a wild statement. It didn't even show up there. That's weird. No, look at look at Koss. Look. <laughs> look before, as we go. <laughs> oh yeah, but my brother had two phases. It was a uh, baby bird, so very ugly, and uh, Walter the puppet. Walter. Stop defiling the corpse of God's Walter. <laughs> Not that Walter. No, the uh, the other Walter, the one that's a puppet. Yeah. He looked so much like that little grumpy old man. Wait, actually, why don't I have it? That is... Am I missing something? Yeah, whatever. Let's go kill the old man. Fuck. Okay. Um... So that's it for this one episode. Everybody. No! We get... No, <laughs> both. I know. Especially now that we have the easier boss ahead of us. In all fairness, you're basically cutting an hour off that because of... Like the first, like, ten minutes and then... And it's then like the first like... ten minutes and then, like, the last ten minutes so far. Yeah. But, but we've got to do something right before we go and talk to Garamin. We got to go walk to Garamin. <laughs> no, but right before you actually get there... 
What are you doing? We've got to... He doesn't like walking to places. Because <laughs> we now get to use the umbilical cords. You know, it's weird that uh, you were uh, the way you were setting that up, I was just like, like, what, is this a great place to put an ad for? <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by W Energy. <laughs> we only need to eat three, so I'll keep the last one for... Insert one. commercial, Jinzu. Insert commercial! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, right. Gammon. My house is already burned down. What the fuck? Awesome. This terrible, haunted dream. Do you submit your do life? Do you submit or... my life or do we refuse? Refuse! Can't you actually, like, die and, like, he actually, like, executes you? When, yeah, if I submit my life to him, he... <clears throat> he fucking, uh, like, samurai seppuku honor kills me. Ah! Um... And uh, we wake up in Yarnum to the sun rising. Oh, that's an ending. Yes. Oh, that's a full-on ending. It's a full-on ending. So we can choose the end, or we can choose to instead free him. Ah! <laughs> you wait. No, Gammon. You won't free me from the nightmare. I will free you from the nightmare. Oh my God. Burn my house Thumbnail. down. <laughs> No, there's another one. There's a better thumbnail. There's a better thumbnail. You burn my house down. Is that a thumbnail? <laughs> you'll you'll know it when you see it. Hell yeah. What are you looking for? Oh, oh, oh me! Oh, sir. <laughs> I cannot parry him, but I'm with my gun. Ah! By the way, the statement is hunting for, not looking for. Chop. <laughs> sir, look at this. Look at this. It's final boss time. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> it's Gearman. It's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's literally just like, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Ooh. Look at this beautiful fucking battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do don't God. like that, that it's a... Upward place, yeah, it's a hill, not a flat area. <laughs> nah, screw it. It is different. Yeah. Not just different, it, it very much fits, so just like, you could have been <laughs> visiting this place for so long, it could have uh, sat upon that hill, and then one day you have to end a life, or your or your own life is ended. I do like, I would like if the doll was like, looking out. Like you can see her on the outside Just of the look, arena. You look at the top of the burning house, mansion and uh, see her standing upon it. Oh! Okay, he's... I can parry him. I can parry him. Ooh. Oh. If he shoots, so can I. <laughs> <laughs> Stick! Fire! Fuck! <laughs> Oops. I can shoot him, stab. Hey! Oh. Uh. Oh, that makes it a whole lot easier. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, mad. Phase man. two. No. Nah, oh. I sure am an old man. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And Garman, he's dead. No, he's not. That's it. That's the final boss. That's it. That's, That's the, it. We're the, done. The, Yay. The yeah. Thank you. You wanted to end the episode, Jens. <laughs> yeah, that was one take. That was super, huh? There's your thumbnail. Oh. Man, why he kind of... Oh. Oy. A great one. Please... Yeah, I'm a glory hole, great one. <laughs> no, I ate three umbilical cords. Fuck you. What? You ate children? Yeah, maybe don't do that. <laughs> I'll kill.
kill you for that! You ate my dinner. Time for the real final boss. Yeah! <laughs> the moon presence. We're up. We jumped up to 42 insight. Yes. God damn. Holy shit. We're at like 24, I think it was. This thing is making the dream it's that we're in. Ah! Just like with the with cause and making the DLC. Yeah. This one makes you. But he's all. But it's not a nightmare because he's chill. So, but now we're like not. No. Moon presence. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's like Majora's Mask final boss, but like times ten. Yeah, <laughs> it's the moon. Oh my god. What was that? It's a move that doesn't kill me, but it makes me all low. And I can rally all my health back and fight him. Or I can just heal. Yeah. That <laughs> seems like healing is the uh, better option. <laughs> I think I'm just going to feed into your entire being mayhem with this one. But, yeah. Um, Moon presence. Moon is usually associated as uh, very feminine. Not this thing. I was gonna make a joke. Not this thing. This is a. This is a. I've never seen this move before. Oh, I can't heal. Oh. Can I heal now? Shit. You're you're still you still got stink. Still got the stink. Yeah, you still got stink. You got stink. You smell like weed. Uh, we, no. can, we can all smell it, it's <laughs> I've never lost to this boss before. Oh! <laughs> that was my first time losing to him. We gotta fight Garamond again. Oh yeah. Because they're all because they're together in one. Garamond was kind of easy. And especially now that we know we can parry him. <laughs> I put up the stink nope, cloud. We fight the moon presence again. Oh really? Oh we do. Oh shit! That's that, even better actually. <laughs> that's re that's really fair. Because it's technically a different boss. It's not. It's not Garamond. Second phase of a boss. Because yeah. it's a secret boss. Ah okay. And like it definitely, um, yeah, it's not like it's the phase two for Garamond. It's a secret boss because if we didn't have the umbilical cords, the moon would just like it, it would have just like consumed us basically. Okay. Yeah, we would have gotten uh, the bad ending. <laughs> bad ending the, is we just get eaten after killing Garamond. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a common trope of from software games that doing the thing phase that, two, doing the thing that everybody says that you should do even though you don't really like it is actually, like, the good ending. <laughs> so, obviously, Garamond being like, I'm gonna kill you and we'll be fine. That's actually, like, a thing. There you go, there you go. Die! Yay! Yay! Woo! There's more, right? Ow. But the Nightmare Slain. Our PlayStation 4 is trying really hard. <laughs> That's the the sound of a scream right there. The true final boss is that thing living. Hey, look, it's Frankie. It's Frankie. Yeah. Thank you, Lady Maria. He's a doll. <laughs> Super! <laughs> Yay! That was Bloodborne. With all the three different endings, it always ends with the doll coming up to you. And uh, if you, if you do, if you submit your life to Garmin, uh, she prays at a new tombstone that's in that's in the that's in the dream, and she pray, she says the line, "May you find your worth in the waking world." And then uh, if you if you beat Garmin but you don't consume the three umbilical cords, then you take Garmin's place as the host of the dream or as the the person in charge of the dream yeah. instructing the next hunter to come and join the hunt uh and then we got the true ending where we become an infant great one yeah we, we, we become the new thing the moon presence made the dream the hunter's dream and had garman be there to basically employ hunters and to teach or not to teach but to to encourage the hunters to hunt other great ones yeah so Why, that the moon uh, presence can be on top like real quick yeah <laughs> Just checking with you guys. Is that okay, volume? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But um, the uh, the moon presence, the moon, the moon presence. Uh, the you know how the hunters' dream went on fire after we killed Nurgle's wetness. 
So after, after kill, you kill Murgo's wet nurse, Murgo dies. Murgo's another great one that was born from Queen Yarnum, that one lady with the bridal dress. Uh, it's formless, so you can only hear it cry. You can't see it. Uh, and after you kill Murgo's wet nurse, your job as the hunter, your whole point of the game is essentially done. So the hunter's gym is on fire now. Hmm. And then Garman goes, well, you've done what you're supposed to do. Uh, let me free you. No. And then... What the fuck you mean, nah? uh <laughs> French local vision all around the world, all around the world. <laughs> that was Bloodborne. That was Bloodborne. What did you guys think? What did you guys think of Bloodborne? Yeah, six out of ten. I, I, <laughs> I completely understand why this is considered to be most of people's favorite from software game. It's definitely mine. It's, it's absolutely unfortunate that I never had a PlayStation Four, so I never, I never knew that you it was... You want to borrow mine and my copy of Bloodborne and then you can just play it? No. <laughs> I'll wait for it to come out on borrow PC. You want to borrow my PlayStation 4 scream? Just fucking borrow my, my goddamn PlayStation. No, because I don't like the PlayStation 4 controller. <laughs> now, Jinzu, now here? that we've given all of our stuff, I want you to save for me your top three bosses right now. And your final thoughts? No. Huh? I hate you guys. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Your top three bosses! My top three boss? Oh, Bloodborne. Mm. That's a good question. Uh, I really liked Father Gascoigne. That was a, that was a fire fight. But... Mm. Father Gascoigne, in retrospect, was better for me because of the number, of the amount of story you gave me about him. Yeah. There's so much with him. Yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, you know, another uh, good... Uh, God, what was it? There was that freaky fuck that we found, uh, like, basically in the depths. The giant eyeball? I think it was the giant eyeball. Basically, it was, like, when we were looking for, like, all these different Elder God things. We found, uh, uh, like, one that was crazy looking. You have any idea how little that narrows it down? Yeah, well, <laughs> the amygdala? Uh, Amygdala was not the one I was thinking of, but yes, Amygdala is up there as, like, another good one. Another really good one. There, there's just so many good things about this game. There's so many. But, Jinsu, oh, I get... The rats kind of suck, though. Get, the rats are always the same. The rats and dogs. And then and then soon after, in Dark Souls 3, the next game, they had crabs. And now there's crabs in every game. I like <laughs> crabs. And now the crabs are the fucking same. Yep. But, um, but Jinsu, you gotta give your final thoughts. You've played this game. <laughs> a lot um a game, lot <laughs> yeah honestly it takes a lot for a game to make me like like it enough to replay it a lot uh and this game is definitely one of those it's one of those games i could not stop playing and i i'll replay it a thousand times so this game is ranked uh, this uh, similar to pokemon emerald <laughs> <laughs> i think <laughs> I think this game would be better on uh, higher on Jinsu's list than Pokemon. Yeah. Emerald. <laughs> I know, but it's a joke of just like More you like... talk about like replaying a game so much and it's like I see you replaying Pokemon Emerald like at least five times a year. What are you talking about? I way just... more. You've brought it up in recordings of you playing Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> you put open your phone to play Pokemon Emerald on occasion in recordings. Right. So it's like that's the joke I'm going for. Just like a game you've replayed constantly. Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> I can't believe you thought of that and not like a Metroid game first. <laughs> because I'm thinking of the one you've done in recording. <laughs> <laughs> Have you opened up your phone and played Mega Man during recordings? Not uh, that you know I about. Could. <laughs> you could, but have you? He's got. He's literally using a statue. Holy shit. Damn. But you know what I mean, man. Yeah. It's it's just a joke of just like, oh, Damn. yes, same league as the Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> And I just love how this this is literally the advancement because like like you were saying before that you wanted to play Majora's Mask first, and then obviously like going from Majora's Mask and how it impacted you, what was literally the next one, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, and how this series has been exactly what you wanted from a series how, from a video game from a video game, and just it's. It's so interesting to me to see, like, a, a From Software game that is actually very highly regarded, and I literally knew so little about it. I knew so little about this game. And being able to experience it here 
and seeing you actually play through it and not just watching like someone else play through it or something like that. Yeah. It was it's just so good. And then, like I I will say it is probably top 5 from software game, but that obviously like the ones that I rank it's literally the 5 that I can rank. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's unfortunately since it's technically the only one I haven't played though I think I will probably rank rank it higher than Sekiro now. Like it would go from from yeah, bottom from bottom I... to top I'll probably do Sekiro, Bloodborne, uh Dark Souls 3 and then Elden Ring. And then Armor Core 6. <laughs> Who's Armor Core 6 this is like your top one? Because that's the that's the game I I hear you freaking losing your shit about. Yeah, yeah. I did, I, 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 turns out I really like big yeah. mechs. <laughs> yeah. Now I've been we've been stalling long enough, but go and talk to Gearman. Go get there. Go get there. Oh yeah. And we'll say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, uh. Don't go fight the cleric piece now. <laughs> I won't. Yet. <laughs> Go on here. What is it you say in that video? Let me see real quick. It's fact checking you. <laughs> no, there's a, a very there's me. a very familiar noise. I remember you screaming. Where? Is it? Yeah, th th this is a game that I will now think think of. A lot more fondly now. Now that I know most of the shit that actually happens. <laughs> there we go. Found the video. Be better ah, yes. next Bloodborne. Surely there's nothing similar to any other Souls game. Oh. Ah, no unique game. Look at this bridge. Oh, it's great. Ah, it's oh, the fucking tourist demon. Ah, it's the fucking tourist demon. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Uh, it's a in, boss in, from... In Dark Souls 1, the first boss you find jumps up the same way that the cleric beast does. Oh, okay. Uh, what am I even doing here? Is the house burnt down? <laughs> That's oh. kind of weird. Uh, I was going to say, it'd be kind of cool if it was like old ashes now. Nah. Because it's it's literally the same exact game again. Oh, okay. It, it's... If, we, if we do the Submit Your Life ending, our tombstone's like here. Ah. Ah. But then obviously you have to actually play through the whole game to get it. She's not awake yet. An abandoned no, doll. But I have Schminshite. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, but I'm like... 47 smarts! <laughs> You're 46 smarts. You need 47 smarts. Eh, okay. Yeah, it's a. Ob obviously, you have, to, you have to you have to jump through the whole story the, thing. You have to jump through the hoops. Yeah. You have to jump through. The it's hoops. the best game ever. <laughs> but yeah, no. Overall, I would say I have a very positive experience with this game. Oh, I played it up man. quite a bit. How freaked out I was, but but now you are desensitized. Yeah. <laughs> and what a game to choose to be the first one to desensitize you. <laughs> this is the last one I got desensitized for. <laughs> yeah, not even that. I, I'll be honest. Like, I mean, I'm already relatively desensitized when it comes to these kinds of games. I mean, dude, I've checked out berserk i've checked out a comic i kill i've checked out a lot of dark fucking stories but it's different that obviously evangelion fucking but like each story is ha is different in its own has rights. their own awfulness yeah yeah so it's like you're never truly prepared until you actually experience it yeah there are definitely elements of this game that were like over the top for me of like oh god but otherwise uh yeah not a bad experience i i enjoyed it i had a good time Jinzu, get out of here and go. <laughs> it's time to say bye. It's time to say goodbye. I know you don't want to. This is my favorite from top game. Nick the Thicky Road. Nick, Nick the Thicky Road. And, that, and I rank those the lowest, yes. So. <laughs> so we're playing Sekiro next? <laughs> Probably, you. we could. You could. And I could watch you play that. No. That'd, be, that'd be a lot of fun. That'd be a good one. No, we're either playing Mega Man or Zelda. <laughs> Definitely not Zelda. But no, yeah. fuck Nintendo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> and thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. And we'll catch you next time in a completely different game. Say goodbye, Bloodborne. Bye. Wait, I can actually. Say yes, that's what, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, <laughs> but wait, but you know what you can do? My precious! We can do it the proper way, Jinsu. We can end it the proper way. 
the proper emote. No, 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 actually, you died. No, 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 you do it. <laughs> That's the proper way. Just show his face. Wait, wait. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye, everybody. Can I say, Dad? Thank you for watching. Dad. <laughs> Woo! No choice GV at, dis at checkout. <laughs> You want me to actually say the whole thing? No. Okay. <laughs>